Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Question. How do I create dynamic domains in IBM Operational Decision Manager Rural Designer? IBM Operational Decision Manager supports rural development using dynamic domains, which use defined values from an Excel file or other data source. It provides the flexibility to make on-the-fly changes. This video shows you how to create dynamic domains in Rural Designer. A Hello Service Decision Service project is used for this demonstration. You can get the source project from ODM Education Assistant on IBM Knowledge Center. The Zoom project contains two Java classes. The Hello Request class takes a language string type parameter. The Hello Response class returns a message in the request language. In the Hello Service project, the business object models are generated from the Zoom. Open the Greetings decision table. There are six rules in the rule set. The initial language value has a string type. The response message consists of the language-specific greeting and the request name. Now let us create a dynamic domain. In this demonstration, a domain's Excel file is prepared. The Excel domain provider handles the link between the value and the boom. Each row corresponds to a domain provider value. Create a virtual boom entry. Create a language type class in virtual. Create the dynamic domain for the class. Select the domain Excel file. Select table with header and map the columns of the Excel file. The domain values now appear as members of the class. Under the Boom to Zoom mapping section, specify string as the execution name. Create a member in Hello Request. First, ignore the existing language member. Remove the verbalization. Select Ignore for DVS so that language is not used during the test. Create language virtual with language type. Verbalize language virtual. Change language virtual term to language. Remove the word virtual from the action phrases. Under the Boom to Zoom mapping section, define the getter and setter. Switch to the Greetings decision table to modify the corresponding rules. Change the language column condition to use language type. Update each rule with the appropriate language value. Generate a test scenario template. Enter some scenario test data and expected result. Run the DVS test against the scenario Excel file. Open the report. The tests run successfully on the rules by using dynamic domains. You have just learned how to create dynamic domains with data values from an Excel file in Rule Designer. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.